This is terrorist Mohammed Atta, the morning of 9-11, going through airport security in Portland, Maine. I'm staring at him, and he's staring back at me. Gate agent Mike Tui handed Atta his boarding pass and is haunted by a gut feeling he had about the terrorist. Hours later, Atta piloted a hijacked plane into the World Trade Center. They only have to succeed one time. We have to be correct 100% of the time. After the so-called underwear bomber failed to blow up an American airliner last Christmas day, the TSA accelerated installing its full body scanners, trying to balance the terror threat against the clamor over security scans, pat downs, and the battle cry, don't touch my junk. Just last week, a CBS News poll showed 81% of Americans favored full body scanners. But this week, in another poll, only 64% support them and half oppose pat-downs. They're whining. I'm sorry. What's more important to you, your junk your, your safety? And some airport safety experts believe the scans and pat-downs are still nowhere near enough. They must be proactive and not reactive. Isaac Yafet is the former security chief of Israel's El Al, the airline with the world's toughest security. Every passenger is interviewed before boarding. Yafet says that TSA's approach is fundamentally wrong, too reliant on technology and luck. Okay, please come on out. Interview people, check their passport, ask the questions. It's not complicated. But it is challenging. Just here in Atlanta, 1.7 million people will pass through this airport over Thanksgiving break. And to call it a success, TSA must do its job with every one of them. Katie? Mark Strassman in Atlanta. Mark, thank you so much.